Hello everyone, and welcome back to Rich History. In today's video, we're going to be looking at this original World War II civil defense helmet. Preceding the Second World War, the Office of Civilian Defense was created in 1939 to protect the mainland U.S. against foreign threats. After Pearl Harbor, the primary role of the civilian defense was to guard against air raid threats, establishing lookout posts along the coast and establishing blackout training with air raid wardens who were responsible for ensuring that everyone was safe and not attracting attention of the theoretical enemy. The Civil Defense was issued many military items, including helmets. Helmets were painted white with the insignia of the Civil Defense branch the wearer was partial to. There were two main types of Civil Defense helmets, which were the High Dome and the Low Dome varieties. The High Dome was made specifically for the Civil Defense during the war, while the Low Dome variants were either reissued World War I M1917 models or models from the 1930s that were civilian. What I have here is one of the latter types. This helmet is identified by the insignia as an air raid helmet, which is one of the more common types. What is a bit rarer is that the helmet is also marked Property City Alexandria. Alexandria, Virginia was very important for its naval docks, including a torpedo factory responsible for sinking massive amounts of Axis shipping during the war. Not only is this a random fact, but it may explain why the helmet has an oilcloth liner similar to many merchant marine helmets during World War II. Remember, historical context is important for understanding artifacts like this. All in all, a pretty neat helmet, especially for us Virginians. Thanks so much for watching, everyone. If you want to see some more military-related content, check out my other videos. If you want to see something in particular reviewed in a video, leave a like and a comment, and I'll see you guys next time.